when they go around the state for the hearings, and we'll have people at those hearings as well. But uh, we're ready to act on this now. I, I wish I could tell you that whatever we pass now will make sure that this summer is the best uh, summer ever. Um, but the reality is, is that the water quality that we're experiencing, whether it's on Grand Lake or on Lake Erie, didn't happen overnight. There's not one silver bullet to do the fix. Uh, what we're trying to do is, is put multifaceted solutions to help address a multifaceted problem. And Senator Gardner, and Senator Peterson, and Senator Heider are the right people to work on this. And uh, they've been working on this for an awful lot longer than just the last few weeks. And so I, I have full confidence that we're going to get something that, that moves the ball in the right direction. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I was wondering if Senator Lehner could talk a little bit about charter school reforms and what. Sure. Um, thank you, and, and obviously this is an issue that's on a lot of people's minds. Um, we are uh, moving forward, having looking at the charter school law for a number of months um, here in the Senate. I understand the House has a bill coming out, the governor has a bill as well, so what we will do is, is to look at what they're proposing, uh, both of them, and uh, look at some of the suggestions that have come out um, from the people that we have been consulting and, and hopefully come out with a charter school, uh, piece of charter school legislation that is going to help high performing schools expand um, and um, address the issues of some of the far too many um, low performing schools that are currently operating um, to see how they can be helped um, to move up or to close if that is the best option. And um, I'm looking forward, forward to doing this. We're not going to rush it. This is too important um, to try to set a deadline. We're going to have it done by a certain date. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it well. And hopefully we will have um, agreement with both the House and the governor as to what that will be. So do you have a top maybe two or three charter school issues that you think above all else need to be dealt with? Um, certainly the question of the authorizers. We have been much too lax. Um, and how we, who we have allowed to authorize uh, with very little supervision. Um, there's a great need for uh, increased transparency, accountability um, across the board. Um, obviously, the uh, issues raised by the auditor last week are troubling, but I would like to re-emphasize what I said at that time, is that the vast majority of these are, are dropout recovery schools, so they need to be addressed in a different way. Um, that most of the, um, the category uh, one and two, well, I guess it's two and three is the way the auditor put it, um, the, the issue was not nearly as severe. A lot of focus has been made about the, the horrible um, discrepancies but on, the, on the dropout recovery again. Um, so I just want to make sure we don't drag everybody down um, with that analysis. You talked about controlling the cost of Medicaid. Um, could you explain?